welcome to the third episode in this uh, Malex 252 renovation. And this episode, I make it finished. I fix the flatbed, I connect the new BMS, bigger BMS, I fit the solar panel on the roof, and uh, redone some wiring. I've fixed a little dashboard. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe so you can see my upcoming projects. Uh, I hope you enjoy this episode. Stay safe and I see you in the next. Bye bye. Well, I removed the switches on the steering axle because I didn't get it working. It was too eroded. I've also been building this little dashboard here. I will have a kilometer for the battery. And uh, this is for the slow, high, low speed. And this was, will be for the lights. And here I have rear four way in reverse. And I don't know the wiring for that inside here, and uh, yeah, started to get finished. Uh, I will try to fill these holes so it doesn't get that much dirt inside the bay area. It was these um, metal plates were sitting here to protect the wiring. I'm uh, changing them into. Aluminum plates are dead. So much lighter. Put one on the other side there. And uh, I'll put one here. It's a lot of weight. Yes, I'm doing some wiring. I put in the DC DC from Sepcon. And also some uh, fuses here so I can connect other auxiliary things. Tw 12 volt. And uh, I have a plus and minus 48 volts here, and this is the enable signal. So I will just uh, connect this enable signal to my little dashboard here, so I can turn on and off the DC DC. And then I have lights at the beginning, so I will put on my extra. Lights and then I only connect this to the 48 volt. I will put one there and the other one on the minus side on the controller. Yeah, now done some cleaning up. I cleaned the seating. Also done some cleaning inside. I uh, fitted the bed ramp with some lightning. Also. Uh, Put the solar panel on top, and I think I'll just I'll just bolt it to the to the roof, maybe with some uh, rubber washers between here for vibration. And this is a 280 watt solar panel. So if it stands out in the sun and we have a it, it will take about. 14 hours to fill the battery, but it's uh, anyway, it's it's uh, it's something. Well, here I'm doing the windshield. I found a Macrolone plastic sheet and I measured it and I also drilled some holes in it and I will uh, tear the protection plastic off and then I will just uh, put it in place with self drilling screws. I got the window in place and it's start to get finished. Yes, I've been working with a flatbed. I have to move these uh, fixing points here because they were probably this uh, flatbed was aimed for another vehicle. And I also had to move this uh, lock there. So now I'm gonna just uh, weld on the new positions and uh, paint it. And then I will fit new plywood into it. Now I'm fixing the flatbed and I'm cut some uh, pieces from a plywood board and then I'm painted with uh, metal paint so it gets somewhat uh, impregnated so it could handle moisture so I will paint these and then I will 
Fetta. Here you can see the finished result of the flatbed. I'm just gonna get the, the rear piece. And it's also tiltable like this. So I can I can flip it if I have something I have to drop. Finally, I got some uh, packages from uh, China. And this is uh, the next uh, option on, this. on the vehicle. And it's a uh, it's a flexible solar. Solar pan. Yeah, like that. And this one suits perfectly on top of the roof. second package and this is a uh, solar controller and it's uh, program program programmable for uh, lithium ion batteries like uh, this uh, and it's for up to 72 volts of battery so this is uh, a good one and I can set it as I said, charging lithium batteries, batteries with a constant uh, amperage, amperage. So this one I will fit to the Melex, so I can have it self charging. This panel, it's only, I think it's uh, 100 watts or something. But so if you don't drive that much, it's, it's you can use it. Yes, now I'm connecting the, the solar controller and uh, at the same time as I have to disconnect the battery I will put the shunt so I can get this kilometer running so I can see state of charge and uh, also how many voltage I got left in the battery. So uh, it's quite easy, plus minus, and this kilometer we have this multi contact here just to put it in place. And we have uh, B minus and P, mi P minus that's to the controller. And then we have uh, B plus here. So I uh, this solar controller, and there we have uh, battery plus and minus. Now we just put this to the plus side of the battery, and from there I will put this small cable to, to the shunt, and then I have uh, the minus here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, got the minus to the 
minus side on the BMS, so I can uh, you still have the protection to the battery on the battery. So I will just connect this, and then I will I also put the cables to the, from the solar cell down here. I got it connected all the way into the battery bay. So and the sun is shining also outside, so it'd be quite interesting to see if how much power this one gives. It says uh, 180 watts. I, I don't think so. If you compare to full size solar cell, and they are at least 217 watts, and this one, small one, is 180 psi. I doubt it, but uh, it will be fun to see. I also got a message from the customs today that uh, my the new BMS has arrived to Sweden. So I have to pay some uh, customs fee. So hopefully I will have them shortly. So I can uh, connect the two models and also I can uh, expand my solar solar plant. controller fitted and then I also got the uh, shunt and all that stuff it doesn't look that nice but it works but uh, I couldn't get this one starting I think I have to take it outside so the solar panel will start up I don't know I must read the instructions yes now I managed to get this one started and it was uh, absence of sun you can see it flashing here, but it's not in uh, reality. Now I'm just gonna do the setting according to this uh, instruction book, and it's probably gonna take me some time because this is uh, seems to be quite easy, but it's not. So I will do that, and then, then I will see if this one could charge the the battery. Well, I got this one working, but. Uh, this is not much. I'm not sure if I will keep it because uh, so little power and the sun is quite bright. Well, maybe I just don't use it when I put on the bigger batteries. I will see. Well, finally got the third package. And this is the BMS system for the E3 modules, and these are should be the Ant uh, 300 amp BMS. Yeah, now they reinforce the, the connecting wires. These are from uh, 8S to 24S, and they are 300 current. So this will uh, suit the uh, BMW E3 battery modules perfect, because I think they, I don't know, they could up put out around 330, 50 amps or something, so this will suit fine, and they suit very good. And uh, these are with uh, 
temperature connectors. Temperature sensors also. And, uh, yeah. Nice length of the wires also. And this must be for the temperature sensors and this is for turning the BMS on and off. Well, this is the BMW E3 battery module. And this is the BMS. I've done this before in several videos, so I will not film this again. So you can check out my other videos where I've done exactly this with the different uh, BMS systems. So uh, check that out and I will make this one. Now I've fitted the new BMS. <coughs> with a new battery module and uh, you can see the diodes flashing in there and you have a constant light in the end it means that it's uh, activated now i will just uh, do some isolation around this uh, shunt and then i will connect the, the plus cable well now i managed to download the bms app called my BMS and you can find it on your Google on and BMS app on the Google then you can find it and I will turn on the BMS like that and then I'll start up the app see if it works this yeah here you can see the, the app and it was this in this uh, parametric configuration I had to change actual connected cell number it was 24 now it's 12 but it was some tricky part to find out how to change it you have to tap two times at the, the figure you have to change and then it worked and but here you can see you can you have so much parameters here Short summary. In this episode, I fitted this uh, LED bar. I uh, wired up this small dashboard so I can have slow and fast. I have uh, lights on and off and I have forward and reverse. I also fitted this collimeter so I can see the status of the battery and how much amperage it draws. I also wired up the charging wires I fitted a solar controller with this uh, small solar panel on top 180 watts I also uh, clean it up a bit inside and I fitted this um, flatbed I cut some little boards and uh, and painted it also you can see here it's tiltable Not now. like that yeah that's about all well it's raining outside so I guess it shows it's working inside the garage. Just turn the key, ring, and press the pedal.